Hey guys, it's Ashley with Pugs and Pearls and tonight I'm going to be filming a new video on this channel. This is kind of an exciting thing because as you guys know, I get a lot of subscription services. Um, one of them is Sephora Play, which is a $10 subscription box that comes every month from Sephora featuring lots of different Sephora products. But they recently came out with a limited edition Sephora Play, which was extra. You had to pay uh, $20 for it, so it didn't come with their general subscription. It's called the Iconic box and it looks like this it's got a black box which is very different from our typical one that looks like I'll show you the June one that I haven't opened yet it's this like you know this is the usual box that we get so this iconic one is supposed to be luxury makeup brands which is really exciting because when you look at makeup there's typically in my opinion three different levels you have your drugstore which is your you know cheaper more affordable stuff that you can get in your local Walgreens and CVS or whatever local drugstore you have and then there's high-end which I consider most brands that are at Sephora and Ulta stuff you can't get at the drugstore like Too Faced Tarte Urban Decay, those types are to me high end. And then you have luxury branded makeup, which are mostly at Sephora. You don't see them at Ulta typically. And it's like Dior, Givenchy, like um, all of those really like super, super premium brands, which you'll notice on my channel, I don't have a lot of stuff from luxury brands because I mean, they're really, really expensive. Um, so you will rarely see that on my channel, but I thought you know what? I've never seen Sephora do this before. It's the iconic box, so we're going to unbox some luxury makeup tonight. I'm super excited to see if it was worth the $20 um, or not. I do get the feeling that if this is a well-sold box on Sephora, uh, I have a feeling they'll do it again. But I did notice that it's only for Sephora Rouge members, so which means you have to spend a certain amount throughout the year to even get access to get this one. So that kind of stinks. I don't know if they'll change that in the future, but we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm really excited to see. I love the packaging. I really am a sucker for packaging, as you guys know. So they've got the gold play by Sephora. And again, this is a separate one, $20. Um, and I purchased it as soon as it came out, but I do think it's still available on Sephora's website if you're interested. And the first thing I see, so, sorry guys. <laughs> This is what it looks like. It comes with a, a really kind of fancy book, whereas typically we get like a fold-out brochure. And then it comes with like a gold bag. So we'll go ahead and put this box down. The gold bag has a little zipper, so it's a, a little fancier than our typical drawstring bags. But let's take a look at this little book. It's actually quite thick. Seems like it's got a lot of information. It says, Play by Sephora, the iconic edition. And... It has, again, I think just a lot of information about the products. I mean, it seems pretty darn fancy. I mean, like a, a nice, thick, bound book. So I always like to be surprised, so we're not going to read what's in here. But this is what we got. So it has play embossed right here. And then this little kind of like gold chain zipper thing going on. So not like the highest quality bag or anything like that, but still kind of cool. So the first thing I see is a Tom Ford Black Orchid perfume, okay? So this is probably, again, like a sample version, so we will open that right up and see what it is. Give it a little shot. Ooh, it's kind of like a fancy um, miniature bottle. Here's what it looks like. So it's a little bit nicer than your standard, like, pop top uh, perfume bottles, actually a little bit bigger. And, oh, it's a roller ball. Oh, how cute. It's a little mini roller ball, a little black ball. Okay, so we're going to test it out. Never had any Tom Ford perfume or anything like that. Oh, it's a deep, like, older man cologne scent. It's very, very dark. Oh, I kind of like it. It's like sexy and older man. <laughs> I don't know. It smells really good. But I feel like this is cologne. I don't feel like this is perfume. I like it though. It's, oh, it reminds me of like very like, I don't know, like kind of business, older man business kind of style, which I don't know if my dad used to have like really dark cologne. Maybe that's why like I like it because I remember my dad wearing dark cologne, but interesting. So I don't hate it. I do tend to like darker scents anyway, so that's kind of cool. And then I see a little lipstick. This looks like it's an Yves Saint Laurent, which I apologize if I'm saying that, butchering it because I don't normally get makeup from them. This is their Rouge Fill Up Shine. Um, 
N49, I think. I'm not sure if this one has an official name. It's very, very hot pink, though, as you can see. It comes in this cute little packaging. So that's a kind of a bright pink for me. I'm not sure if that would be my color. Um, yeah, it's it's super creamy. Um, does have some pigment, but it seems more of like a moisturizing type of lip kind of like a lipstick so interesting very very bright perfect for summertime but again that color I'm gonna go ahead and say is like not my favorite and then we have a Guerlain Paris this is the lore what is this radiant concentrate with pure gold it's a makeup base okay so it comes in a packaging like this never had anything from Guerlain before so it's kind of cool Oh, and it looks super fancy. It is a Radiance Concentrate with pure gold. Uh, that looks really cool. Look at the gold flakes in there. I've never even heard of this product, so that is super, super cool. And again, it's a very tiny sample, but still, you know, that's something I probably would never... I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand just to feel the um, consistency because I'm always interested in different um, primers and stuff. Oh wow, very serum-like, very liquidy. Doesn't have like a strong scent or anything. Seems like it went into the skin very nicely. So I definitely will be giving that a shot. Next up, another cardboard packaging from Burberry. And this is their Cat Lashes Eye Opening Volume Mascara. So again, it comes in this like nice little mini baby packaging open it up <laughs> and here we go so that's what it looks like I, again I don't know much about their their mascara I don't I don't own any you know what I'm kind of like I do have some on but I'm gonna go ahead and like do a test for you guys just because why not so that's what it looks like it's like a rubberized bristle kind of has like two big balls and then it looks like a little dumbbell oh okay Definitely giving us some volume there. Can you see the difference? <laughs> I've got some on, but it's been such a long day, guys. Like, it's so late at night right now. I uh, had to film this because I got this in today, and it's been raining all day here in Florida, which is typical of the summertime. All right. Oops, kind of got that on my. It's okay. Well, definitely has some volume. Beautiful. All right. I'll definitely give that more of a shot, like I said, when I don't have anything on, but I definitely see an immediate. <laughs> difference there okay and then next up poison girl from Dior what is this it's kind of cool packaging um, I have one thing from Dior it is their rose lip balm which I swear by it is an amazing high-end lip balm and I don't rave about lip balm that often oh it's a little um a little baby perfume how cute is that Oh my gosh, adorable. Oh my gosh, the packaging is so cute. Now, it's probably going to be... Okay, so you just kind of like open it up like that. Let's see if I can put it here and get a scent. It's nice. It's kind of like a sweet floral. Like a sugary sweet. To me, kind of scent. Make sure I'm putting this on right. Don't want to... How does that work? Does it screw on? Hold on. So it just kind of like you press it on. Very cool. It's kind of pretty. I love miniature things, so that's kind of cool. And it was very pretty packaged. And then the last thing I see in here is the La Mer product. I hear a lot of people say great things about La Mer, but again, like they're so expensive. I just don't normally splurge on that. This looks like it's a moisturizing cream. Okay, soft cream. Um, Awesome. Okay, so for hydration, I'm guessing. And it comes in again a little tiny pot. And let's see what it looks like. That's the little tiny pot here. And sorry, it's got like a little seal on it. I'm going to take that off. Here is our cream. So again, I'm not really familiar with this product. I don't know much about it. Let me just kind of like take a little sample here and 
Again, I don't think it has like a real scent or anything like that, but it's very, very moisturizing. Sinks into the skin right away. Doesn't feel greasy or anything like that. So guys, that's it. Um, let's recap. We got a Burberry Mascara, La Mer Moisturizing Cream, a primer or face base with pure gold from Guerlain. Um, we got a Tom Ford, uh, I think cologne actually, and then an Yves Saint Laurent lipstick, and then a Little Baby Poison by Dior. So, you know, I mean, I don't hate it. I, I, I'm not overwhelmed by these particular products. Um, I am excited about the mascara, the face cream, and the base. The perfumes are, are, are okay, but I'm not a big perfume girl, so I would say three out of six things are going to be me. This lipstick's just not my color. I'm interested in it. I may give it another shot if they do it. I'm not sure. We'll have to kind of see how this works out, but let me know if you're interested. Did you guys get anything different? Did you get a luxury box? Um, the Iconic Edition? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys!